So we just got invited to go to the Chosen Insiders Conference, but what the Chosen doesn't know is that I've had beef with them for years. It's because they, they didn't cast me in any roles. And now forevermore in my YouTube and Instagram comment section, everyone is just like, you look like this actor, you look like this actor, and you look like this actor. And I'm just like seething in anger. I can't believe I wasn't chosen to be on The Chosen. Okay, but in reality, there's actually no beef going on, but there is a true goal and a dream here. I want to meet one of my doppelgangers. I want to meet my doppelganger. I've also heard that people go crazy for their outfits at this convention, so I want to see the best dressed impersonator of one of the disciples. Also, I've been told that they're giving a super secret announcement by the end of the convention, and so I want to be in the room where that happens. Three goals, one dream, let's go. Okay, I'm introducing my new camera person, my new camera girl, Kasia. She is, uh, she's excited for the opportunity, and uh, we'll see how she does today. Hopefully she doesn't get fired. I this think she's doing a pretty good job. Some vigorous training just thrown right into the deep end, so. Let's do it. I love your outfit. Oh, thank you. How long did that take you to make? A friend of mine made it. Really? I was in, in season five. Okay. Well, mine is hand sewn. I make my own. Wow. So all of this is hand done. I make my own jewelry. Okay, what I've noticed is that people go all out for their outfits here. It is so cool to see how much attention to detail they put into stuff from the show, stuff from just culturally how they put together their outfits. It's really cool. I'm with uh, the actor Peter. So this is yeah, actually no, he's an imposter. Yeah. Thank you so much. I got a little. Got some. Uh, some wow. Dr. Crib, this is for you. This is an introduction to Biblical Hebrew right here. We're going we're gonna to stand and then we're going to sit down. Okay. Don't <laughs> I'm starring in my first TikTok, guys. This is, this is going to be huge. I'm going to blow up. <laughs> Featured on a famous TikToker's <laughs> channel. Want to review? Delicious. Here in the Chosen gift store at Chosen Con. Now, Kasia, you're gonna pick out your three favorite items here and uh, I'll get them for you, okay? You're liking that one? I am liking this one. It's I would say that this is number one. It's got this wee little fish. It's very cute. What else you find? Uh, Zebedee and Sons Olive Oil Company. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like Okay, this is my favorite one. This is so cool. It's like a 8-bit type thing of the disciples and Jesus. Really cool. This is what I'm taking home. That's so cool. A little baby book. What else you find? Found this little bracelet. That's oh, really sweet. Wow, it has that's a little... Oh, the teal? Yeah. On there. Yeah, they're really good at branding over here. That's awesome. It found a bonus one. I did. I actually, on the way out, I grabbed a fourth and uh, love the olive green color. Probably gonna have to get this too. It's so cool. I was walking down the hallway at Chosen Con, just minding my own business, but then I look to the right of me and I see a group of people around this one guy. And all of a sudden, I hone into that one guy and I realize that's Bear Grylls. That's Bear Grylls. I'm thinking, what is Bear Grylls doing at Chosen Con? Now, I have to say, it was a super immersive experience. One of the coolest things was this massive paint by numbers. Now it's time to get in the room where the announcements are happening. We all packed in there ready, anticipating what the announcement was going to be. Now Dallas, the creator of The Chosen, said, yes, the series is going to go through season seven. Okay, so then there's three more seasons to go, five, six, and seven, which is exciting. I've enjoyed the show for sure. And so I'm excited to see, I, I know where it goes, but I'm excited to see how they do it. Beyond that, they gave us some cool announcements. So what is the first project that I am going to do with Five and Two Studios after The Chosen Season 7? Well, we've talked about the MANA program. We've talked about Red Sea Moments. Uh, throughout the first five seasons of the show, you've heard his name mentioned many times. And so this is why I do want to tell this story. The Chosen Book of Moses.
yes, a Moses show. I've seen Prince of Egypt. I loved how they did the Moses story. I'm excited to see how a live action Moses story plays itself out. That'll be cool. Then there's The Way of the Chosen, which is a continuation through Acts, which I'm interested to see. A Joseph limited series, uh, The Chosen Adventures, which is like an animated kids show. But then lo and behold, they said they weren't done. There was one more project that was coming out and who steps on stage? None other than the man himself, Bear Grylls. But the name of the show is uh, Chosen in the Wild. <laughs> Okay, hear about the huge announcement, check. Now the only thing left is to meet my doppelganger. And I found out that I would be able to interview some of the actors. This is my opportunity, this is my only chance. First I chatted with Catherine who plays Mary of Bethany. I wanted to hear her approach to some of these more emotional scenes and playing this type of character. But to be able to play it has been a huge gift because she's such an impactful character. And ever since playing her, what I've started to notice is she appeared, this moment, this season four, or episode eight moment that she has with Jesus in front of all these Pharisees and, and the other disciples and whatnot. It's it's so famous. It's in every worship song. Like I didn't even hear it in worship songs until after shooting it. And then I was like, wow, they just referenced that moment. And it makes sense. Of course, it's like a great act of worship. It's truly an honor because so many people value that moment in scripture. And that moment in scripture says, Jesus says, this moment will be, what this woman has done for me will be preached about wherever the gospel is preached. I think most of our introduction to The Chosen was obviously season one, episode one with Mary Magdalene and that transformation. I wanted to talk to Liz Tabish about her own approach to that powerful scene. Portraying it that night, it was freezing out. I was nervous. I knew it was the the hook of the, the show that if that moment doesn't work, no one's going to keep watching. So the pressure was on. I was already nervous. I was like, I don't think they got the right person. I was uh, having imposter syndrome. And then watching it edited and seeing how it works within the story gave me a real like sense of trust in this production. And even a, a, a faith that God is doing things um, and to just trust the moment and whatever's happening is meant to happen. So there I am waiting to interview the next actor and then it happens. Dude, we're, I mean, can we even talk right now without talking about the fact that we're kind of hair twinning? Yes. I feel like you would play like David or something. Yes, the dream is complete. Great question. Okay, you know who it is? Jordan who plays Little James, and Austin, who plays Nathaniel. They have the worst taste in like TikToks and Instagram reels. They send the most heinous, heinous stuff back and forth, where if they're like, hey, don't you guys think this is funny? We're like, no, dude. Who bickers the most on set? Okay, that for sure is Luke and I. All right, he's right there. I'm just fighting every urge to just go, punch him in the head. No, I love it. Luke is like a little brother to me, but we 100% bicker all the time. And he was nice enough to give me some hair advice too. Brand called Inner Sense, oh, okay. which is like a curl specific brand. Oh wow. You can do it, it's called like the blowout cream. Yeah. You just scrunch and do you have a diffuser? Oh, yeah, I do, yeah, yeah I do. You. I do yeah. have a diffuser. Oh, you're, you're, no, you're, you're, it's a happy ending after all, guys. Man, what a great trip. Thanks to The Chosen for having me and Kezia out and we'll see you next time. I know some of you are interested in my perspective on The Chosen. I actually already have a YouTube video about The Chosen out on this channel where you can get my full thoughts and theological breakdown.